I started when I was 17. I was a cook for, I believe it was about a month. I'll be honest, I hated it. <laughs> it was terrible. Growing up, it was only my mother. It was my mother and six kids. She was really never there, but that's not because she didn't care. She was working two jobs. I mean, she was taking care of six of us by herself. I was in college at the time, and I mean, I was going to be a cybersecurity analyst. That was my goal. And I ended up dropping out of college to pursue a career selling chicken. Coda came to us with a one-store acquisition. He was a shift manager at the time, uh, and I remember being really just kind of blown away when I saw him. I said, listen, why don't you give me a year of your life, we'll put you on an action plan, and let's see what happens. When he took over Canal, uh, it was really a dog of a restaurant. I mean, it was not, it was not good. I, I don't know how else to say it. It was probably about as bad as you could expect. It was critically understaffed, it was dirty, procedures weren't being followed, there was no motivation, and I mean, people just did what they wanted. You know, you could just see his brain start working. He's like, well, this needs to go here, and this needs to go here, we need to do this, and I need that. Because I believe in full autonomy, I was like, let's try it, let's do it. So, I mean, it was first figuring out what's most important. For me, it was, I mean, building a staff that cares. I'm a big believer of explaining the whys. There was a team member who did the toasted sandwich. So I made a sandwich with a toasted bun, and then I made a sandwich with the untoasted bun. I cut them in half, I'm like, try this. And then he was like, wow, I really can taste the difference. And I was like, this is why it's important to do it the correct way. Dakota came in the canal and literally changed the restaurant in 30 days. I've, I've never seen anything like it. He's been the one person in my life that has actually wanted to see me grow. I look up to Dakota in so many ways and I want to be a lot like Dakota. We all know each other very well. We're all just like friends, like outside of work too. He got me flowers on my birthday when I came in, so yeah, he, he cares. Grandma, for instance, she was a team member and I 100% believe she can be an assistant manager one day. Etta, she was also a team member and I 100% believe she can be a general manager one day. If somebody gets a employee of the month or something, I'll bring them in a blanket and say, hey, this is you, and they just, they love it. It just makes them happy. I'm trying to keep it together now, but uh, I, I really do. <clears throat> I know we're just selling chicken, but <laughs> I feel like at KVP Foods, it's, it's more than that. I didn't have the best parents, and I do what I do because I, I want to help change people's lives like Dakota. I'm just, I'm just so proud. Growing up, I was always bullied in high school. When you've been basically told your entire life you're not good enough, and then when you, people start to tell you like you're doing a great job, or like when you feel like you're finally accomplishing something, it's a huge motivator. Why I do the things that I do is because of all my experiences, and I just want to make other people's lives better.